It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Gona Art family. Today I'm going to share with you guys four awesome tips that has helped me on my path to art. So, anatomy is important to make your characters look realistic and feel correct, feel right. Depending on what style you're going for, of course. So if you were if you were going for a semi-realistic style, closer to that, then anatomy is your ball game. So tip number one that has worked for me is learning the anatomical names. Now, learning the anatomical names can be a hassle for some. However, there are some benefits to learning the anatomical names. So what I feel is that words are like spells. So when you say something, you activate it instantly. In, in, in your mind mentally and so let's say if I say the word dog your mind will associate uh, things that are related to dog you know you may think of Scooby-Doo you may think of your your trauma of getting bitten by a dog you may think of your friend's dog etc and so your words can have you know associations mentally and so when we apply this to anatomy you know or you know Another example is like, a, you know, we, we've seen a, a vocabulary where it's high school, you know, when we had to look at the, the, the big word or the, the advanced word and then look behind it and then to see that what the definition is so that uh, once we know what that the, the advanced word is, we know what the, the inner lockings, the detail of that word contains, you know, that's like, you know, studying vocabulary. So. When it comes to uh, anatomy, when you say, when when you will say a, a certain part of a bone, such as the humerus or the, the deltoid muscles, uh, you'll understand everything that associates with it when you study it. You know, when you when you study it individually, of course, and also getting to understand what the terms are. And so there are three parts of the deltoid muscle. And so there's the anterior, the, the lateral, and the posterior. The anterior is something that's frontal. La lateral is something that's, uh, uh, that's pointing outwards towards the body. And posterior is something that's, uh, that's pointing back towards the body. You know? So once you understand the, these words, you can, better to under you can better understand how the muscles work. And you can better uh, uh, draw the human body accurately from imagination. So on the human's surface, you get to see the muscles that pop up. You get to you get to identify each muscle individually. To fully understand the human body is to deconstruct it and understand each of its part. Now moving on to tip number two is subconscious associations. Now after studying anatomy, uh, buy a good anatomical po uh, poster or uh, proportions poster and put it up on your wall to have that uh, subconscious download every time you look at it you know but this will only work if you had if you uh, already uh, uh, studied anatomy because it'll subconsciously reinforce what's already there inside of you and if you haven't studied anatomy it may just look like a bunch of muscles with labels so to get in to to get a uh, in-depth un understanding of of them I'd recommend to watch uh, anatomy tutorials by uh, Pro Crow, you know, they're short and fun videos. However, they contain a lot of information that may be missed. So I'd recommend to, you know, take notes, you know, pause video, take notes and whatnot. Or you can just rewatch the video, see what you've missed. And I feel that understanding how the muscles and bones work will increase your ability to draw from imagination. So for beginners, it's easier to visualize basic, basic shapes, you know, but but when we uh, start to study the human body and understand it fully, we can visualize that as well as we first, you know, graduate from basic shapes to anatomical structure. So I have a tutorial talk video on how to uh, improve your art mentally, how to improve visualization in your art. So, yeah, because I feel visualization is the first step to creation. Onwards to tip number three and that's writing on my body now this is definitely the most strangest tip out of the four however i feel personally from my experience it may not work for everyone everyone else but i maybe it will work for some of you guys so i feel from my experience i like to outline the muscles and the bones on my body with different colored markers and it helps me to train myself to understand the body movements 
because I'm constantly thinking about the outlines every time I'm moving my body. And at times it's not always outlines. Sometimes I use uh, number markers to figure out things, numbering markers to figure out things. So I'll, I'll give you a quick example. So here's an example as to what I meant by number markers. So right here I have these labels, one and three. And this is like one part of the, the, the palm pad and this is a, another part of the palm pad. And so I want to jot down a note of the, the arms or the, 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 the hands making this pose, you know, what happens to the fingers, you know? So uh, this index finger, for example, was noted that it came here. And then the rest of the the rest of the three fingers that you see here would just come to the the last side right here, you know. And this middle finger, this middle finger right here would, you know, be the the center of balance within those these palms. And so yeah, one and then three when you're doing you know something like this. So and lastly, tip number four: don't rush. Uh, take your time to study the bones and the, and the muscle attachments and the landmarks, etc., for each individual body part. And don't go rushing into the next anatomy lesson if you haven't fully understood the previous anatomy lesson. So, and so, remember that uh, art isn't a race to the finish line. And art, for those who are passionate about it, art is a lifestyle of growth. So. We keep on evolving, we keep on learning until death arises. So chill, have fun, focus, be patient, and you'll grow. We can become the masterpiece and the work in progress at the same time. And that will be the video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any advice for any any of the other viewers, you know, leave so down below what has helped you to study anatomy yeah and yeah peace out